Sunday. Welcome to the studio. I'm so glad you're here. Now I absolutely love creating image transfers on the gel plate. It's one of my most favorite techniques. Now I know that using dark colors such as sepia and Payne's gray works really well. Even turquoise has a fantastic impact when you're using portrait photos and you're doing the transfer process. I've created with these images many times and they've worked really, really well. But what other colors work well for the jelly print image transfers? Can you use lighter colors? What backgrounds look best? So we're going to explore that today, have a little experimentation. I'd really like to try gold. Recently I tried white and it was so impacting and it worked so well. So let's get in the studio and create some fabulous image transfers on the gel plate, finding out what the best colors are. I really like the way the white came out on the image transfer. So I'm going to experiment a little bit more with that. I only kind of just touched on it last time I was doing image transfers. So I think we should have another go at trying the white with different colors because I think it's been so much fun to experiment and you learn something every time you do this process, you learn different ways of doing it, different colors, different combinations. You learn what doesn't work really fast. <laughs> and that can be a little frustrating, but that's how it is. Now, this is a laser copy print from the floor of the Queen Victoria building in Sydney. I just absolutely loved the pattern of the floor, went crazy, yes I did, when I was visiting my little treasures last time. Everywhere I go on my travels, I'm always taking photos of patterns and textures because I just love to experiment with them, especially on the gel plate and especially doing image transfers. I absolutely love this process. I know it's experimental and it can be a little tricky sometimes, but to me, that's after fun. Now this is real time. That's how long I spent rubbing it while I was yapping away. And we have a beautiful transfer of the fabulous floor of the Queen Victoria building. Now I'll let that dry a bit and then I think we'll do, what color shall we do? We're either gonna do bronze, oh, let's do, Let's do the deep matter and see how it comes out. Maybe with a little bit of copper. Ooh, yes, we could. Now, it's only been a minute, maybe two at the most, and I'm putting the paint on. Decided to go with the deep matter. Let's see how this looks against the beautiful white tile print. I'm going to pull the print on the Japanese calligraphy paper because I bought quite a few packs <laughs> and I have quite a lot of it so it's great for pulling the gel prints <laughs> I'm putting shiny side down and we'll see how that looks good firm rub and it doesn't take too long. Just make sure you get the whole area nice and firmly rubbed so that it picks up all the paint. You can use a brayer if you're worried about wanting to make sure it has got good contact. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends how confident I'm feeling. <laughs> So that's about it. Again, this is in real time. That's how long I spent rubbing it because I'm just explaining it all because I do get a lot of questions with image transfers. I absolutely love this technique. So it was like, what, a minute rubbing it? Oh, yes, beautiful. I'm glad we went with the deep matter color. Look at that. That is just fabulous. So that's an image transfer with the white straight off a laser copy print onto the gel plate and then pulled with the beautiful deep matter color onto calligraphy paper. 
Ta-da! Now, how about we try this one? Now, this is from Naples. I had a fabulous time on my recent Europe trip. If you're on Patreon with me, then you'd see my behind the scenes art travels videos. It was fabulous. I had the best time. So this was the building that we went to. We stopped and had coffee. And I took some of these photos, I've printed them out, and I'm busting to try them as image transfers. I've got this one and this one with the circle and then the straight and then this one with just the circle. So we have to try them all. Now, what shall we use? Let's use some Payne's Grey, which is one of my absolute favorite colors. Let's start with Payne's Grey because I'd like to pull it maybe with, oops, with some gold or something dramatic. I know, I know, I'm always so dramatic. That was a little too much paint. Did you hear the oops? I knew straight away. So if you've got too much paint, we have a fabulous roll off sheet on the side. It's not so bad when you're doing abstract images if you have too much paint, but if you have too much paint and you're doing portraits, then it really does smudge the finer details of the face. Yes, I have done that. So you can't have too much paint. See how that's a bit better now? You can see the um, jelly plate, but then if you don't have enough plate paint, it doesn't transfer the image. I know, it's a little tricky. I love it when I've got a new image to try, but then there's always that, oh man, if it doesn't work. <laughs> you never quite know what you're going to get, which really is half the fun of jelly printing. Oh, that's not too bad. I think we're doing okay. Look at that. That transferred really well. There's a beautiful line on that, which is why I wanted to try it. So we'll just let that dry and then I'll put either gold or copper. Yeah, that'd be fun. Well, the line is not very thick. It's very fine. So note to self, not too much paint or I won't be able to pull it off the plate. I've always been a little heavy handed. That's just how I am. So I ended up with the copper. Love the metallic colors. Very fine layer of copper on the plate. Look, you can still see the transfer through it. So hopefully this will work out amazing. <laughs> right, so. Let's see how this prints. I definitely didn't put too much paint on this time. Pretty proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, so I always get a couple of copies done when I go all the way to warehouse stationery to get them printed. So if something doesn't work, I can try it again. Or if something does work, I can try it in a different color. I love doing that too. Then of course, you've got all of these beautiful, amazing abstract jelly prints to use in your collage. Yay! Right, let's see how the beautiful Piazza in Naples has transferred. Whoopsies, I got a bit of a tear on there. Not to worry. It caught the edge of my plate. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Ta-da, ta-da! Yes! Loving it! Loving it! That is a fabulous image transfer. It's got great fine detail. That worked really well. But we knew the Payne's Grey would work. Uh, and the copper looks fabulous. So what about we try something trickier? Let's try transferring it with the gold or something lighter because um, it'll be interesting to see if that works. All right, let's try that. That's pretty cool. I'm liking that. Now, the um, print pulled up so well, I didn't clean the plate. So it might have a little tinge of copper on it, but that's all good. Let's try the same process with gold, like rich gold. I wonder how that'll look. 
Now I don't think I had enough paint, so I just added a little bit more because there's got to be enough paint to have that transfer process with the print copy. Which one? Let's try this one. It's got that fabulous dome at the top with the glorious vertical lines as well. We'll see if this transfers. I haven't actually tried a transfer with gold before. So, you know, we'll both see if it works. <laughs> but if it doesn't, meh, we'll try something else. It'll be all right. Can't see why it wouldn't work. Paint is paint. It should all process the same. It's just whether or not the color was a good idea. That's always the question. Now, what are we going to use to pick up the transfer? What color will our print be? I know, right? I guess we better see if it actually worked to start with. <laughs> oh, yes. That looks fabulous. That's quite fine. Lines of the transfer of the print copy, but you can see the building there. You can see the dome. That's pretty nice. What color will we use to pull the print? What about if we try the Payne's Grey? I wonder what it would look like if it will pick up the gold. You know, I actually don't know. Will it absorb into the gold or will it actually pull it off the plate? Good question. I guess we're both going to find out. <laughs> Can we lift the gold of the image transfer off the plate with a darker colour? We shall see. I'm still using the same paper. Did I mention I've got packets of it? <laughs> But it's working, so let's just stick to it, right? <laughs> Can't wait to see if this idea worked or not. Ta-da, ta-da. You know, it did. <laughs> I love it when it works. Yippee. Now you're going to think I'm amazing again. Look at that. That looks fantastic. I'm loving that. So that's the rich gold transfer with the beautiful Payne's Grey. Oh my gosh, that worked so well. That gives me another idea. Okay, I've got another idea. What about if we do it the same again with the beautiful rich gold, but we pull it straight onto black tissue instead of paint? Let's have a look at what that would look like because that Payne's Grey, that looked beautiful. That pulled off really well. Right, we'll try that. So this is the other one that I have of the fabulous piazza there in Naples. I'm loving that building. Let's try this one. Might be a little smudgy because I did have a little bit excess paint on it, but it's an abstract building. We're okay with that. You just can't put too much paint on it when you're doing the portraits because they come out very smudgy. Righto, what have we got? Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. What about if we put it straight on black tissue, no waiting, no adding more paint and see how that looks. Straight on. To, now, this is just black tissue from the um, cheap shop, dollar shop, party shop. One of those ones. You know, you buy a whole pack for a buck. Fabulous. I use it. Um, when I'm pulling jelly prints, it works well. I use it for colouring my tissue. I also use recycled tissue. Love using recycled tissue because, hello, it's free. <laughs> Righto, let's see how that's turned out. Straight onto the gel plate and then onto... Now, you have to be a little careful with tissue. Well, I do because I tend to tear it if I go too fast or pull it too hard. Oh man, look at that. That's working beautiful. Let's try not to tear it. There's an idea. Oh, fabulous. I love it when an idea works. <laughs> look at that. That is just glorious. I think that worked better than the Payne's Great. Should we compare them? Okay. So there's the Payne's Grey one. 
And there's the one onto black tissue. You know, actually, I like them both. They have a different feel about it, but that looks pretty cool. I am really happy with this transfer. Now you know you can do image transfers in gold and it looks absolutely glorious. I love it. It's the first time I've tried it in gold. Yippee. Should we do one more? I think we should. There's just one more um, image that I'd really like to try from the Doge's Palace. Actually, I have two images. I have this one, which is a nice close-up of the beautiful architecture. And I've got this one, which is a reflection of the Doge's Palace on the day that the water crept into St. Mark's Square. So I'm going to try both of them and I'm going to try the first one with the goal because that was fun and it worked. So we can either pull it with a colour or we can put it on the black. I've got another piece of black tissue. My roller's still got gold on it. So, you know, we're on a roll, man. The Doge's Palace had the most incredible paintings on the inside. It was an absolutely fabulous tour. I loved it. We went right through the area where the prison was, which was connected by the Bridge of Size, and it was fascinating. Then we went into the palace section and all of the opulence. Seriously, it was this color inside with all of the paintings and the artwork and the opulence was such a contrast to the area of the jail, of course, which is logical, right? But anyway, it was fascinating. Venice at that time was like the political power of Europe. The whole history was amazing. Ah, oh, yes, as you could imagine, I had an incredible time. Got to spend time with my wonderful son and it was just one of those incredible moments in life that you just never forget and you treasure forever. Yay. So we'll see how this one, actually I'm going to put it on the black tissue because it's got so much detail in it that I think that could be quite fascinating. I'm not sure if the photo was strong enough in its contrast, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, I transferred pretty nicely. Let's go. I'm going shiny side down on the tissue because there's just less chance of it sticking is my theory. Oh, I only got one little crinkle in it. That'll be okay. Righto, let's see if my fabulous black tissue has picked up the gold glamour of the palace. Yay! Careful, careful now. Oh, yeah, that's fun. You can see the fine detail. Look at the fine detail as I'm pulling it. Up. It's come all off the plate, which is always a good sign. These And there we go. Look at that. That is just fabulous. I love it. <laughs> you can see one little person through there. So there's the building and there's the reflection from the water. And all of it transferred really well and a lot clearer than I expected, actually, to be honest. I didn't think I'd get as fine a detail because uh, it wasn't as sharp an image as I thought it might be. But hello, it's working pretty well. Loving that. That looks fabulous. Okay, just one more. One more, I promise you. Just one more. Are we going in the gold again or should we switch up the colour? Well, seeing as I've got the gold still on my roller, maybe we will. Maybe we'll add a little bit of copper to it. Oh, that could be fun. Righto. We'll add a little bit of copper to it. And we'll try this one here, which is a close-up of the fabulous architecture of the Doge's Palace. Oh, that's a really nice colour. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Let's try that one. It might have a bit too much paint because I find when I tend to mix the colours, I do squirt on a little bit too much. What about we go back to the um, deep matter and pull the print with that? All right, all right, let's try that. Righto, let's see what we've got with that colour combination. Oh, that's just beautiful. 
look how clear those images are. Yes, that worked really well. Love the shapes, right? I'll just give it a minute to dry and then I'm gonna put the deep matter on it because I think that'll look flipping beautiful. Righto, I gave it a couple of minutes to dry because that paint was a little thicker. Now we're going to put it, pull it with the beautiful deep matter color. <clears throat> I think that should look just beautiful. Righto. Oopsies, I just put the paper on really crooked. <laughs> I don't suppose it really matters. Not really. Okay. Oh, the colour is just beautiful. No, it's coming off pretty nicely. Gotta be happy when the plate is clean. Look at that. That is just stunning. I love it. That works really well. It's kind of mysterious in the shapes. That's fantastic. Now that's the beauty of an image transfer. I just think that's worked really well. What a great experiment. Right, so you can see it doesn't really matter what the paint color is. The dark colors work really well. Always, always successful when you pull them with a light background. But the gold is working really well. That was just been so much fun. Look how glorious that is with the Payne's Grey, so that's a light colour with a dark pool, and that's worked really well. The white is fabulous, I'm loving the white. Who would have known that white would pull so well as an image transfer? And of course, on the tissue is dramatic, love it. So that's really fun, what fabulous experiments today, these have worked really well. Now, what doesn't work is if you don't have the right print copy, laser print copy, and you have to test them from where you're getting them to make sure they work because sometimes the office shops aren't printing them in a good enough quality for them to be a transfer. If you're using your own laser printer, you will have to run it through two or three times to build up the toner to be able to create the transfer process. You also have to make sure your photos are strong in contrast of dark and light because that's where you get the different shapes. But have an experiment, try some different colors. If you've tried it and it hasn't worked, don't give up. Just try again. It will only be your print copy or the paint. There's only two aspects that it can be, so you can do it. Have another go because it is so much fun, so experimental, and there's so many options. It's endless what we could try. <laughs> so have another go. I'm telling you, it's just fabulous. Thanks for joining me today. Didn't these prints turn out absolutely fabulous? Who knew that the gold would work so well? I love it so much. I really hope you had fun, you learned a lot, and you've got the courage now to experiment for yourself. Now, don't forget to check out the links under the video if you want more info, and I'll leave you with this video to help you with your jelly print image transfers, and come and join me again in the studio.